Welcome back to my series where I teach Melissa Lucy everything that she needs to know to get an A this semester. So whenever you're adding and subtracting two different numbers, uh, rounding is definitely going to be something that we want to focus on and understanding how to round uh, specifically to the to the appropriate sig figs. So with this, your rule is just going to be to round to the lowest amount of decimal places. So let's say looking at this example, uh, this has two decimal places, this has none, this has uh, one decimal place, and now just by identifying that in the very beginning, you can tell that, well, my final answer will have the lowest amount of decimal places, meaning none. So the decimal, when you refer to a decimal place, it's like just the numbers after the decimal. <laughs> that's it. Yes, that's it. Okay. Yeah. And because this doesn't even show a decimal place, that's why I know, or a decimal, I know that there's, there's no decimal places here. Okay. I see. But we still round up, like, because it was 6481.5, then we still round up. Exactly. We look at this number here and that's why we round up to two. Okay. Okay. Do you do that every time? Like anytime it does um, ask you about sig figs, do you like round? So you do, and it's going to be according to whatever operation you have. So adding and subtracting, you're going to just round to the lowest amount of decimal places. Now with multiplying and dividing, it's different. So with multiplying and dividing, you round to the lowest amount of sig figs. So it's not, it's not looking at decimal places anymore. Adding and subtracting, we look at decimal places. Multiplying and dividing, you just look at the entire amount of sig figs. So in this okay. case... Like this has how many sig figs? Four. Yes, I know I have the answers there. And then this one had. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> this one has three sig figs. I gave it away. But yeah, so this has three sig figs. So then I know that the lowest amount, I'm not looking at decimal places, the lowest amount of significant figures must be three. Yes. So then I have to round my final answer to three sig figs. Okay, got it. Yeah, so we'll multiply, and then from there, that's when you identify, all right, well, where would my three sig figs be? It would be here, but I always use the number to the right to tell me, like, if it's five or more, then I round up. If it's four or less, then I round down, you know, or, or I, do, I keep it as, as it is. Like, I would, if this was, like, 61.61, I would just leave it as six. Right, okay, but you know what confuses me? is when you get like one of those ones where it was asking about the abundance, then we're doing, um, we're multiplying and we're adding. Right, which is the next thing. It, oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, you're good. So the next thing would be mixed operations. So here I have an example of you're multiplying, you're dividing, and you're subtracting. Like, what do you do? You know, so we have everything in one, and this goes back to order of operations. So PEMDAS, uh, if we recall, the first thing we want to do is parentheses. So with this one, where I would start is here. After I've already, you know, done that operation, then I'm going to move on to the multiplication and division portion of it. But in this case, don't round. So whenever we have like these mixed operations, round to the very end, like have everything round to the very end because you want it to be as, um, as accurate as possible. So so in this case, I would start off, and I wrote this down, here we go. So I would start off with just order of operations. I'd start off with parentheses first. So I would do this. So just subtracting what's actually in parentheses and bring that down. So that would give us uh, 0 0.3455. So I didn't round anything. But what I will do is I will identify how many sig figs um, I'm going to need. So, so meaning, um, where was it? Meaning, looking at this, this is subtraction, so I focus on the overall um, amount of, of decimal places. So, what's our lowest amount of decimal places in this question? Two. Yes. So, I know that I'm eventually going to have to round down to two. And um, right now, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, for this case, this is two decimal places. Okay. But then I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to bring the rest of this down. Times 3.9980, and then divided. So from here, 
we have multiplication, which is next, right? So then now I'm going to move this from left to right. So I'm just going to multiply this first, and then I'll divide by that value. So I'll start off with multiplying those two, which let me do that. That's 18. Once again, I'm not rounding anything. And then divided by, and I'll bring this down. Still haven't rounded anything. Just knowing that this would have had only two decimal places. So from there, knowing that this would have only had two decimal places, right? And that's why I'm like putting this little line underneath. Well, what is the rule with um, with added, well, sorry, with uh, multiplication and division for sig figs. What do we look at for significant figures? The least number of sig figs? Correct. So, okay. so then this is where we're going to see that, well, this already kind of told me it. Because if I were to have rounded this section or this number to just two decimal places, then that would have given me just how many sig figs? Like if I were to have rounded this to let's say 0.35, how many how many sig figs do we have? We have two. Correct. So then now I'm going to apply this here because now the final operation is telling me it's division. And now I look at the lowest number of sig figs, which would have been two. Okay. I think I get it. I'm just like, so you definitely have to do that initial operation and identify the two sig figs. Correct. Okay. Correct. So, so I, I don't like bring this down and actually show that I rounded, but I put that line knowing that, hey, this is going to stop here. And it would have been like two decimal places. Next, I see that the operation is division. And I know that it has to round down to the lowest amount of sig figs. So the lowest would have been, would have stopped here, right? I wouldn't have, you know, shown this. So that would have been two significant figures. And then my final answer will round down to two significant figures. I'm no longer looking at how many decimal places there are. Good with that. Yeah. Okay. So then when I actually do divide this, even with that 55 at the end, uh, that would have given us... 52.79904. From there, I know I have to round uh, round up to two sig figs. So this would have been two sig figs. I look at the next one. That's higher than five, so I know that this is just gonna round up to 53, and that's it. So it's not telling me that there's gonna be uh, two decimal places. This told me that this one would have had two decimal places. From this point, I then see that would have had two sig figs, and that's my final answer. So couldn't you have just like, how come you couldn't have just said, okay, well, it's two decimal places, so I'm just going to make it 0. 0.34? Um, For the sake of accuracy? Yes. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I wish. <laughs> I yeah. wish that it would make it so much easier. Okay. Yeah. So always round to the very end with a lot of these. Um, and even, uh, this is kind of where it's a little bit different from, like, significant figures in lecture versus sig figs in lab. In lab, we don't do the whole sig fig thing uh, since it would actually change our experiment. But in lecture, we require it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't choose this. <laughs> 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 if I did, we wouldn't have sig figs. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> um, okay, so that makes more sense. Um, what we could do, I know that there's one question on your practice exam. Try this question out on your own. So number 23 is 249.362. Okay. So um, what do we do first? Oh, parentheses at first. I was like, wait, but we have to deal with the addition first. Okay. Um, wow, so basic. Okay. So let me add those. 249.362 plus 41. Okay. Good. And then now I want you, like, before we even move on to the next part, 
how many sig figs, like if that were just the operation, if we were just adding, how many sig figs, or sorry, what would we round to? Like, um, my question is, you look at the lowest number of what for adding sig figs? For adding, um, we look at, I don't, I think at the decimals, right? Yes, correct. So okay. what's the lowest amount of decimal places that we have out of the two numbers? Oh, the, the ones that we were adding? Correct. Wouldn't it be the 41 because it has nothing? Exactly. So, okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is so just underline that zero because that tells me that's where I have to stop. Like that's where we would have stopped if it were just adding those two numbers. This? Yes. Yeah. Okay, got it. So now we know that we're not going to do any decimal places. Right. Okay. And then from there, now we can continue and divide and then go from there. Okay, this was easier than the one you did, though. <laughs> no, I know. I know. Like I said, I'd rather give you something That's a good thing, more challenging. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so now. Oh, wait. So it's 4.5. So. So even before doing that, um, hold on. Wait, so do I write the whole decimal out first? I, I say, yeah, write it all out. Okay, okay. And then I would even say to continue after that, like 290.362, uh, also bring down that you're dividing that 63.498 because that's the next operation that you're focused on. Oh, like just show what I'm doing, you're saying? Right. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, you're right. Because I'm a visual person, so I really should see that. So, um, good. Because from there, now you're looking at it as, okay, well, we're dividing two values. Now, what do we look at? Like the lowest, what are we focusing on to round to the, to the best amount of sig figs? Now we're looking at the um, least number of sig figs. Correct. So then now, that's why you underlined in purple, and you saw, okay, well, if I were to have stopped here, how many sig figs would that number have given me? If you were to have just stopped at 290. Then three. Think about it again. If there's no decimal. Oh, because it's a trailing it's, zero. Yeah. So two. So two, right. So two. Oh. So we know that there are two sig figs in our final answer. Oh my gosh, this is like so confusing though. All right. So it's just going to be, so we're going to do 4.6? Exactly. That's it. Okay. Does that make sense? It does. I just, I question whether I'll remember all of that. <laughs> right now, it's just going to be a bunch of practice with that. So we can do another one. Okay. So. All right. So we have to do the parentheses first. Good. All right, and then before moving on, what what do we do next? Okay, so we know that it's the least number of sig figs, and all of these count because the zero is in the middle, so it's four. Right? So think of it again. We look back at the two numbers that are being multiplied, and then we're going to look at the least number of sig figs. Oh, out of those two? <laughs> okay. I was yeah. looking at the answer. Right. Okay, so... Um, it would just be one? Correct. So I would just underline that three from the 3.6. Yeah. So then from there, we'll bring down uh, the next part. So plus 4.81. Cool. And then we'll do the operation and then go from there. Okay. So now that we're adding, what's the rule now? Now we do the least number of decimal places. Good. So if three would have just been one sig fig or one value, 
we would have rounded um we would have rounded that up but we're not going to um we would have just left it as one number correct no decimal places yeah so so it'd just be no decimals correct so our answer would have just been um eight that's it oh, okay all right that makes sense um, so you're kind of just like combining two different rules, essentially. Exactly. And you're kind of like bringing it down and seeing which one does it like end at. Right. Yeah. So I, I, it is confusing. I, I understand that. Like it's, yeah. you're, you are combining two different rules. All right. Let's do maybe like one more. Let's do C. That's the other one that has the mixed operation. Yeah. Okay. So. Whoops. Okay, so we're going to do the parentheses first. All right, so now we stop and we say the least number of decimal places would be two decimal places. So we're going to underline right here. Perfect, yes. Okay. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm proud of you too. <laughs> um, okay, and now we're going to do the other one. Oh, this is like more than the other one was. Yes. This is like three rolls. It is. Oh. Well, it's, it, well, it's technically two, right? Because we have multiplication and division, but it's it has multiple operations, yeah. Okay. One point twenty. Okay. So for this, we're going to do and then for multiplication, do I have to do that again now? Like for multiplication and division, it's the least number of sig figs. So you're, you're fine on, on that part. So it's really just oh. like at the end, since multiplication and division have the same rule. So I, I would say you multiplied that already, right? The 2.5 and the 21. Um, next, you're just going to have to divide by that 45.333. Okay. So. Okay. So I got one point. Okay. So now I look at the two things I divided by, and yep. then I do the least number of sig figs for that, which would be five Hold right on. but then you look at where you underlined because that's where it really would have stopped oh yeah <laughs> so it's four it's four yes it's four okay oh my gosh that that's really helpful i need to not forget that i underlined that okay so we would stop here and we don't have to round exactly you feeling okay about that yeah, yeah, I am. I want to know how you're doing in chemistry right now, so leave a comment below and let me know. And if you need any more help, then I recommend that you go to melissamarivel.com for more resources. All right, I'll see you in the next video.